I think LA is one of the very few places that, are, that is a major city that it's uh, really kind of an artist city. You know, there of course there are a lot of great museums here and great um, galleries and you know other institutions. But I think it's something being an LA artist is very specific because I think it's really an artist city. There are a lot of spaces here. There are a lot of, and it's relatively affordable. There are great um, institutions like you know acad um, academic programs here. So um, I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of artists from around the world actually move to LA and work over here. Um, more specific to my work, I think, of course, you know, living in this city has influenced my work a lot. And I think it has a lot to do with um, distance as it relates to scale relationship, perhaps, because I don't have a bodily experience with a lot of cityscapes or landscapes. I have um, my relationship to to cityscape and landscape is always through my windshield because I'm always driving, right? And so whether I be on the four or five stuck in the you know in the in the um, in traffic, or whether I'm like you know driving 80 miles per hour, it's always through my windshield. So I think um, speed. There's a certain kind of timely and spatial relationship that I have with my work. And I think that's one of the reasons why I have a lot of scale shift in my work. And it's always um, through, whether it be um, through light going through a certain kind of objects within my work or projections going, projected, being projected on or through the work. I think that has a lot to do with my being um, an LA artist. Mm 